Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherisa here on YouTube. And today is Sunday, September 10th. This is a voiceover. I recorded this video and I went to process it and render it and there was no audio. The microphones were charged, that wasn't the issue. I am not sure what the issue was. So instead of scrapping it and not doing a video or trying to record it over again, I just thought I would do a voiceover. So bear with me, I will try to remember what I talked about. I know I was mentioning that Bill and I just returned from uh, a vacation trip. It was our 10th wedding anniversary on Thursday, September 7th. So we went to Ocean City for a few days and we actually got back last night. And I have to say, I like getting back on Saturday night instead of getting up at the crack of dawn Sunday morning and coming home. Because when I come home, I have work stuff to catch up on, laundry, getting ready for the week. I was doing this video, groceries were coming. So last night we left at about 6.30, got home by 9ish, and we had laundry and stuff, 90% done by about 11 o'clock. And then I got up this morning and got everything done work-wise and doing the video and all of that. So I am ready for the work week. I actually had off all last week. Uh, Monday was Memorial, Memorial Day. No, it was not. It was Labor Day. Tuesday, we didn't have a job. And then I left Wednesday. So we were gone Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, came home Sunday. Every time we go to Ocean City, and this is our last year going for our anniversary, we're going to try to do some other trips, other places we haven't been. But we always take my friend Lacey out to dinner. And it was such a good time. I love seeing her. And I go back to Ocean City in a week and a half for the Fall Tangles Retreat. So this year I am actually going on Wednesday, the 20th. And so I'll be there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I might leave Saturday evening at like eight o'clock. It would put me home about 1030. Depends on how tired I am. I will see. But there, there is the allure there of getting home Saturday night and then being able to wake up Sunday and having all of Sunday to get done what I need to get done. So we will see. But I am very much looking forward to that retreat and seeing everyone. It's been about five months since I've seen those ladies. So, yeah. And like I said, I do not remember what I'm talking about, except someone asked me a question. So question I had was, what size needle do I use for perforated paper? I had told this person I use a 24, and a 24 is harder to pull through the paper you can do it but I actually prefer a size 26 or even a 28 you have to be careful of it falling through the back of the paper but the way that I stitch I pull it through and hold it and it's fine and the reason why I like to use a 26 or a 28 also is because when I add buttons on the button I can fit the 26 or 28 needle through the size of the button and I'm pretty sure I just mentioned that. Okay, movies and TV. I watched more of Dance Mom season two. Since I was away, like I said, we did not watch very much TV. We caught up on Big Brother when I was there. Uh, had my iPad, so we watched that in the evening. Um, books. I did finish The Coworker by Frieda McFadden. Fantastic book. Love her stuff. I've read all of her books. And then I discovered a short story collection on Amazon Kindle Unlimited. And there are six stories in this. And I read all six while we were there because I'm a beach person, but I like to sit under the umbrella with my book. I don't get in the water. Really, the beach is for Bill. He loves to get in the water. So I, you know, sacrifice in marriage, you sacrifice. So the first story that I read, which I will link down below, is called People Like Them by Minka Kent. It was the best one out of the six. Okay. Um, Instagram. Let's talk about that for a second. So I know I had talked about last week stepping back from social media, and I have. I have not canceled my Facebook or my Instagram account, but I have deleted the apps off of my phone. 
So if you need to contact me, because I have not missed being on either one of them, if you need to contact me, please do not do so through Instagram. I still have Facebook Messenger on my phone because that's how I talk to my mom and a couple other people. But please either email me, which my email is in every uh, description box of every video, uh, and you are welcome to comment. Or you can contact me through Facebook Messenger if we are Facebook friends. Even if we aren't Facebook friends, you can still contact me. So... Yeah, for the foreseeable future, I will not be on Instagram. Like I said, I don't miss it. And yeah, and I only go on Facebook really to check my groups that I belong to, which is only a couple, a handful. Okay, so I'm getting ready to show you something. Probably gifts. I received a few gifts from my Amazon wish list from a subscriber, Linda Southerd. Linda, thank you so very much. I tossed your note because I read it in the video. She said something like she loves my videos. She's not even a cross-stitcher, maybe someday, but she wanted to buy me a couple of things off of my list just to show her appreciation. I keep an Amazon wish list all of the time because of gifts for birthday, Christmas, mainly it's for Bill. And I'll go on there every couple of days and add things, take away things. And I went on there last week and I was like, there are like four things gone from my list. And I did not know. I asked Bill, I said, did you buy this stuff? And he was like, no. And one of the items that is off of the list, I don't have. So I don't know if someone bought it and kept it and is going to give it to me. But here's one of the things she bought. I had a set of bobby pins on there that are colored and glittery and all of that. And then she got me this beautiful candy jar. And it's hard to tell, but it's more like rainbow. And then she bought me some of my favorite candy where there's soft caramels. Where there's has different kind of caramels. They have soft, they have chewy. The soft ones are my favorite. So that jar will go up on my bookshelf. And I don't know what I'm saying there. I have no idea. Like I said, I was so very disappointed when I discovered the video had no audio. But making lemonade out of lemons, right? Okay, so I'm, oh, I'm flipping you around because Linda bought me something else off the wish list. She bought me, I had a side table for my chair out in the formal dining room where I have my lamp and I sit and read my Bible and have coffee. She purchased the stained glass side table that I had. I was blown away. I was blown away by her generosity. Isn't that table beautiful? Love it. Love it so much. I wanted a table so I could set my coffee cup, set my Bible, I'm looking forward to sitting here when the leaves are changing, when the snow is falling, but I love to sit here. That chair has been in Bill's family for like a hundred years, and it's just a nice change of scenery because I'm in my office 95% of the time. Okay, so we're going to flip around and I'm probably going to talk about my whips and finishes because... Yeah, I do have those. I have a finish and I have a whip. And the finish has a little story with it. I'm going to wait until I show it to talk to you about it. Okay, yep, hot cocoa. So this was from Primrose Cottage Stitches. And if you are a fan of them, they have their next sip and stitch box tonight um, at 8 o'clock my time. Okay, so yep, added buttons. And I finished this Tuesday, Monday, Monday night. And I had only had, I think, the R to stitch and then the Santa hat. And so I used the Silver Petite Treasure Braid on the brim of the hat to match the steam of the cocoa. Now, I had purchased the frame from Hobby Lobby that the ladies at Primrose Cottage Stitches used to finish it. I decided I wanted to try to fully finish it. I was going to paint it red. Nope. I started painting it and I got paint on the wooden handle. 
it has a, a beaded wood handle and I wanted to keep that unpainted and I got paint on it and I was so upset with myself for doing that and I wound up going on Hobby Lobby's website and they actually had the frame on sale 40% off so it wound up being only $4.49 it's arriving this week and it must have been in God's plan for me to mess that up because I decided I'm going to spray paint it. And instead of painting it red, because there's so much red in the stitching, I'm going to paint it and I'm going to show it here in a second, glittery green. Yeah, I'm going to paint it this Krylon Glitter Blast Green. And it will match the holly in the hat. It will match the peppermint buttons. I think it's going to look much better green with the contrast. And then I'm going to use red rickrack and a piece of that fabric I'm going to put on a sticky board and put behind it. So I think that'll look really good. I My work week this week looks potentially busy. So it may be until the weekend when I can get that done. And yeah, so then I have a new project I started. It is Primrose Cottage Stitches, Salem Sisters Apothecary. And I know I'm getting it off because I did stitch part of it before we left. I actually stitched Tuesday evening on it when I go to show it. So it is on. I have that frame. I did get the frame, which I'm so excited about. And I was going to stitch it on the orange, the cantaloupe colored paper, but I decided to stitch it on lavender perforated paper. And if you notice, they have some backstitched words in the piece. And so for the backstitched words, I am going to put buttons. I purchased the Sprinkles Black Pack from just another button company and I've already picked out the buttons I'm going to use and I started this piece in the middle because in the middle coming out of the bubbling cauldron they have some single stitches and single stitches on perforated paper are not easy because you have nowhere to anchor it so I decided to substitute some buttons for that as well and that is where I started with it now when I initially show you this it's upside down because it looks, it's upside down. I flip it around. I do figure that out. So you can see where I put the circle buttons to represent bubbles from the cauldron, which I thought it turned out really well. I did all the stitching around it and then I laid out some buttons to see where I wanted to place them. And I'm sorry, that's blurry. It's the camera keeps wanting to focus and unfocus. But you're going to see, because I look at the pattern and I'm like, I'm confused. I went, oh, I have it upside down. Danielle. There we go. So that looks much better. And I think I did a pretty good job with the buttons and matching it up to where the single stitches would be. And then the cauldron goes underneath. So that will be my next piece to stitch. And I do not think I will have this done by September 20th, because it's only a week and a half. So I will probably be taking this with me to Ocean City for the Fall Tangles Retreat. So looking forward to that. Love those ladies there so much. And that was my only whip. I did do some diamond painting though. I did work a little bit. Oh, okay, yes. I was talking about how I'm using, for that stitching piece, I am using the called for floss which is weeks dye works coal and i bought the floss pack from primrose cottage stitches it included four skeins of the floss i love the colors for weeks dye works i find that thread tends to be a little bit drier but i do like it very much so i like i said i did do a bit of diamond painting and i'm going to be flipping you around here pretty soon any second now to show you the progress on that. I did get done 
the top of the section I'm on. Because the size of the mesh roller, I usually split each section into two sections. So yep, I'm flipping you around and we're gonna go over to the table. And yeah, it looks really pretty. The colors are beautiful. And that section that I do on the bottom right, it's actually her hair. So I'm starting in with her, but so very beautiful. And, but yeah, that's it. So as always, I hope you guys all have a fantastic week, by the way. And I'm just, I'm so, just be patient with this voiceover. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.